Hey guys, Stallmaster here. We just started a new Equinox event, uh, which is going to feature all your most favorite grass type Pokemon. As you see, Bulbasaur is my favorite. So, Bulbasaurs are spawning more frequently in the wild, and I did get another shiny of it the other day, uh, full odds, which is really, really cool. Um, so, this Equinox event has started. It started the 19th, which was yesterday, uh, at the time this video does go live at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. It runs through March 26th, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So lots of cool new stuff. Um, so I did start to go over some of the features of this event. Um, there are no boosts as far as like special in-game bonuses, like no extra Stardust, no extra candies, um, or anything like that. Um, but take a look at the new uh, event quests uh, that we have for this event. They're pretty cool. Take a look. All right, guys, I'm in preparation to do a Dialga raid here um, in Vista. I'm at Brangle Terrace Park. I'm in Vista, California, so I have some people on the way. It's an EX raid location, so I should be able to get an EX pass for next week. Um, I have one for oh, the week after, I should say. I have one for this week. Um, it is at Sprint Store, so this will be awesome for the defensive uh, defensive mode uh, Deoxys, which we'll talk about a little bit later on in this video, but it is Summer Equinox. That means we got a grass event going on right now. So look here, we got a Shroomish. This is uh, one of the grass Pokemon that is going to be spawning more frequently. So I've seen Bellsprout, Oddish, uh, Sea Dots, a bunch of different Paris, Executes, bunch of different stuff. Um, so the cool thing is we actually get some soul rocks uh soul rock has moved back i'm gonna go to my recents i've gotten one here so they have come back to their original spot so you got two of them already now the cool thing is these guys can actually be shiny so i'll show a picture on the screen showing you what the shiny looks like so this is pretty awesome so this does mean that we get some new uh research quests so i have two of them in here right now I have a catch five grass, water, or fire type, which is for five silver pineapple berries, which are pretty cool. Uh, and then hatch five eggs for three rare candy. So that one's pretty cool too, because um, I like to hatch my my seven Ks. So I got uh, one, two, three, four, seven of them um, at 3.2 or 4.7. So this is going to be pretty cool. All right, that was another shroomish. All right, so there's a bunch of stuff going on. Um, let's see what else we can do. Oh, so more research quests. I'm going to put them on the screen of which ones we've been able to discover so far. Um, it is evolve five grass Pokemon for a Venusaur. Evolve two grass Pokemon for a Tangela. Uh, catch uh, ten grass Pokemon for a thousand Stardust. Let's see what else we got. Um, so this event started at 1 p.m. today. And it's going to go all the way until the 26th. So we have seven days, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, so we have seven days for this, um, the Equinox, the summer, spring Equinox, I think is what it's called. Um, so grass type, we have grass research, and then some new moves are going to be in the game too. So we'll talk about those in a minute once we can get this raid uh, started. All right, guys, amongst other new quests is Catch 3 Bulbasaur or Chikorita. I believe they get you a Turtwig. Um, so this is going to be something that you could use for, just in case if you need to fill up your Gen 4 Pokedex, uh, Turtwig or a Torterra. Uh, Torterra is a pretty good uh, grass and ground Pokemon. Uh, different combination than what they're, they've had before, so uh, something to keep in mind. But that is... a. Uh, uh, this is another of the new uh, Equinox uh, grass quests. Also, guys, I just noticed something really new and interesting when it comes to burying your gems. So, take a look. So, I don't know about you guys, but I just noticed some an interesting feature when feeding this Dragonite. It wasn't giving me my 100. So, yeah, like 20. Not 40. Now 60, 80, 100, and this is going to continue 
as you feed berries. So I did this yesterday and I didn't quite know what to think about it. Um, I think this is really cool. So I'm just going to keep feeding all these berries. I want to show you that it can actually get pretty high. So I'm going to run out of, I already ran out of Nana berries. I'm going to keep a couple of silver, I mean, uh, of these regular raspberries. I'm going to move over to pineapple berries. And even if you change berry, it did not uh, interrupt the count. So you see, 700, 720, 40. 60, 80. So this is encouraging you to feed more berries to Pokemon and gyms um, and to continuously do it over time. So I don't know if you, I don't know when this feature got put into place. Um, I've heard nobody talk about it because I watch Trainer Tips. I watch Mystic 7. Uh, Prodigies hasn't put anything out in a while. Uh, I watch Reversal and yeah. So, look at this. I'm up to 1120 Stardust for feeding berries to Pokemon and gyms. This is pretty crazy. So, I think I got up to 2000, but I'm not quite sure. I don't remember. Uh, I think I was burying this quite a bit before um, I started recording it, but I wanted to show you guys this. So, this is a cool feature that uh, we did get into the game. This is my... Well, Cacnea in the gym. This is a drive-by uh, near the San Diego airport. So, all right, cool new feature. So this is pretty cool. So go out there and feed some berries to gyms. Test this out for yourself. So let's see how high you can get. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to stomp that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. We'll see you guys in the next one.